Trees and the flowers, birds in the trees, nature's beauty, and things like these. Rivers and mountains, valleys so wide, stars in the heavens, the blue they hide. Everyday artists, the old and the new, color each day a bright golden hue. Now that we know you, our story begins. Come and be with us, artists and friends. Da 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 da. Well, I uh, wonder where Rip is. Oh, I, I I think there's a note here. Oh, dear Miss Polly, gone to visit cousin in Carrot Town. Be back in two weeks. See you then, Rip Rabbit. P.S. Rented my house to an artist. Oh, it's too bad he's not here because today we're going to be doing puppets. I have some of my puppets here and some of my puppet uh, books and magazines. You know, puppets are like old friends. You know, such a good time with them. It's just, they're just so much fun. And look, my everyday artists have made puppets. You know, I think you probably know a lot of these puppets that I have here. Remember this one, Vincent Van Flea? And when he was uh, uh, here talking about art, there was Clarence the dog, you know, who wanted to learn about art. And uh, maybe you remember Myrtle the turtle? Look at that paper mache shell. And here's Magnolia the mouse. And the oldest puppet of all, Peter Painter and Patty Painter. Perhaps you still see Pepper Painter. And remember the little girl that's made of a sock? You know, she draws her own portrait. It, sometimes when you're making puppets, they look kind of strange. Look at this one. It's made of sawdust and wallpaper paste and rolled up cardboard. And that's very much the way that Pepper looked before we, we put a shirt on him and made him into a hand puppet. You, you can make a puppet out of almost anything, even a paper sack. Have you ever done that? See, if you take it like this and put it on your hand, and you can make the mouth right here, add some eyes, and you have a puppet. Or how about a paper plate? See, if you fold it, that becomes the mouth. Then you can cut off another plate, the top of the head, something like this, add some eyes, and decorate it in some manner, and you have a puppet. But I think the best puppet, and it lasts the longest, and it's easy to make, is a sock puppet. Now, Matt made this puppet, and look, it has horns, and Matt is left-handed. When he makes this puppet talk, he'll probably use his left hand. Look at Amy's puppet. She said she wanted it to have a forked tongue. That's a nice puppet. Leslie's only five, and I think she has a delightful puppet. So I, I'm sure that you can spend a little more time, look for different things, and you can make almost any kind of puppet. Can you guess that this one is a mouse? This one's Alice's. And I think this one is George's or Melanie's. Isn't she nice? Now, what do you need to make a sock puppet? Well, first of all, you need a sock. So I have a, oh, this is a man's sock, and sometimes you lose a one, and so you just use the other one. A gold sock would be nice. You know, I looked in my drawer. Do you suppose I could take my old toe sock and make a puppet? Well, let's see. The way you uh, do is you put it on your arm and kind of look at, that's where the heel used to be. And I'd have to tuck those in like that, see? And that becomes the mouth. I think it will work if I uh, put some cardboard in the mouth and some felt right there. So let's see if I have the other things I'll need. That's right, I'll need my scissors, and I'll need cardboard. And I have buttons here, all kinds of buttons, at least two that match. And I'll need some yarn. Let's put it up here. And what kind of glue do you suppose is best? Well, white glue works fine. Or Sobo glue is supposed to glue fabrics. So I'll put that over here. 
And let's start by cutting a mouth, because the puppet, well, in order to make it talk, must have a mouth. So I have a piece of uh, cardboard here, and I think I'll fold it like this and trim off the corners. And then it's a good idea to see if this fits your hand. This also will give you an idea of how you work the puppet, like that. All right, that will go inside the sock. So let's get the sock up here. Now, let's see. Felt would be nice for the interior of the mouth. The inside of the mouth could be yellow or red. And if I use red, I might even have a yellow tongue. I could even make a forked tongue. You know, when you make a puppet, that's the fun of it. You can do all sorts of kind of exciting things. Like, let's, let's pick out some buttons right now. If I put this button on, it's too much the color of that sock, isn't it? So why don't I choose maybe these for the eyes? And I'll put them right here. And the first thing we're going to do is glue in the mouth. So let's put some glue on the mouth. You may f discover that it's better if you work with someone and they help you with a few things because you have to hold the puppet on your hand and you have to also work the glue. And I'm putting just covering it completely, but try not to get too much white glue. Now, watch carefully what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it together like this. and. If I hold it together, I won't get white glue all over the sock as I go in. So here we go. Down inside, I'm still holding the cardboard. Then remember, I've got to get rid of those toes. So I push them down, and I take the cardboard, and I'm, I'm opening it up like this. There. And I'll squeeze down like that, and I already have a mouth. Now, wouldn't it be better if I put some felt over it to cover up those toes? So let's see if I can do this with my left hand. I just try to get the white glue all the way around like that. Now, push it in. Something like that. And it's a good idea to have some, a damp paper towel so that you can get that white glue off your fingers. And you just sort of have to hold it like that. All right, it's already beginning to look a little bit like a puppet. Now I'm ready to put buttons, and the buttons will go right about there because when I make my puppet talk, I need to be able to see the eyes. Now watch what I'm doing. White glue, about the size of the puppet, but not too much. If you get too much, it takes too long for it to dry. Push that down, and then very carefully add the other one. And you might just kind of hold it like that for a while. Now, I might add a nose right here. Let me see. I kind of like to have a button nose. Now, if you don't have buttons, you could cut out a triangle for a nose, or you might uh, uh, cut a round circle for a nose, and you might use your felt. Or maybe you have something else in your happy trash. Remember, if you don't disturb those buttons. They'll glue on and they'll last a long time. All right, let's see how the mouth is doing. I think I'd like to add the tongue next. So I'll put white glue just on the back side of the tongue because I kind of like for it to kind of wobble inside. You know, if you have something that kind of jiggles on your puppet, makes it better. And I need to decide if I want the tongue to hang out or not. That looks pretty good. Now, I want to show you how to add hair, or perhaps you might add ears. So very, very carefully, 
and pulling my hand out. All right, I'll put him right there. And here's my yarn. If I want um, this puppet to have long hair, I would measure the length of the hair, something like that. All right, then roll it off backwards and forwards. And here's where it's kind of nice if you have a partner to help you. Maybe if Rip were here, he could help me do this. I think that's about enough. Now, I'll cut that off. And remember to do this. To cut another piece of yarn. And, and let's tie it right in the center. And if you had enough time, you could braid it if you wanted, or you could add ribbons. And I, I never am quite sure what kind of puppet I have here. I don't know if it's a, a little um, dragon or not. Maybe if I want it to be, maybe I like to make it look like a unicorn. I'll look in Hampy Trash and look at this. What if I um, roll that up and added it the same time I put the hair on? That might be kind of fun, and that sort of jiggles. Let's see if I can get it back on now and add the hair. You can add ears. You know, if I had some blue felt, I could, I could make this, uh, I might even make this become a rabbit. But I don't know, it kind of looks like a, maybe it's a worm, I don't know. I might ask it what it is. wonder if it would talk to me. And now let's add the horn. And uh, there. You know, I think it's going to talk. Oh, uh, hi. Where's Rip? Oh, my goodness, it did talk. Oh, speaking of Rip, he told me there was an artist over there. And I just love artists. I need to go see him. I must meet the artist. Oh, my, he's not here. Where are you? Interruptions, interruptions. Uh, oh. oh, who are you? Oh, I'm Miss Polly. Miss? Oh, Rip told me that there was an artist here. I'm so happy to meet you. Well, uh, uh, yes, I, I am an artist. I am a world-famous artist. Oh. <laughs> uh, I am on an exchange program at the moment to America, and my name is Salvador Dilly, at oh. your service. Oh, Salvador Dilly, that yes. sounds Spanish. Are you from Mexico or Spain or well, South America? Well, I, I've lived in many places in South America. Oh, oh, speaking of South America, Miss Polly, I have brought you a gift. It is a Spanish marionette, actually Mexican. Oh, you certainly did. Mm. Oh, look at that, a marionette. Uh, How do you know I like puppets and Well, everyone knows you like puppets, Miss Polly. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mr. Dilly, what are you painting? Oh, 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 oh. I am uh, working on a project for Rip. I am painting a mural uh, down in his dining room. Oh. What do you think of that? Oh, it's a very, very long and complicated process. But let me ask you something. Uh, just between you and I, uh, what sort of subjects does Rip like to see in paintings and things like that? How about a landscape, a pastoral scene? Landscape, pastoral scene. Yes, yes, go on. Well, I think that would be just what he'd want with some cattle. Cattle? Uh-huh. How long will it take you to do it? Oh, about two and a half weeks, I suppose, if I work very, very fast. Which means I must be back to work right now, Miss Polly. Uh, very nice to have met you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, a mural. Isn't that great? Leaves in the flowers, birds in the trees, nature's beauty, and things like these. Rivers and mountains, valleys so wide, stars in the heavens, the blue they are. Everyday artists, the old and the new, color each day a bright golden hue. 